Well, I had shot a movie there back in 2016, The Little Hours, and had such an awesome time shooting there, and I love it, and kind of learned how there's, you know, obviously differences between shooting in America, shooting in Italy, and having been there, I wanted to kind of go back knowing what I know and do it again, and, you know, it's probably the only country I can think of where every time I go there, I discover something new, and it's amazing. Not that other countries aren't like that, but it's my all-time favorite country. Like, literally, you go to a place, and there's an entirely new cuisine you never even thought existed. Um, and so I definitely associate it with food, and I thought it would be like a really fun way to do another ensemble movie and kind of break up the monotony of COVID and just have a really good time and try something different. Jeff has a lot of things in his head, but he's also a very casual person. So my husband and I and Jeff were all at breakfast, and he was like, I'm writing this movie, and here's the plot, and you should do it. <laughs> and I was like, that's incredible. Are you serious? So I think that like hearing the teaser of it and then reading the script and the treatment, it was really exciting, particularly because he knows a bunch of very interesting people with unique voices and then knowing who they were going to be and hearing it in their head and then seeing it in person, it sort of only evolved from there. He promised me that there would be a lot of merchandising for the movie mm -hmm. and that I would get like a significant cut of that. Mm -hmm. And he's like, all the indies have big merch budgets and big merch uh, grosses and you're gonna get cut in on that. So for me, it was more like kind of a craven financial decision than a creative one, but I feel confident in it. Yeah, the action figures were motivating. Yeah. <laughs> I was just for the record not given a microphone. <laughs> and so What's that? What? I was not given a microphone. So I feel, uh, oh, thank you. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to reading the script. <laughs> I read, I saw, my, my girlfriend and I watched Little Hours on Thanksgiving of last year, and I thought it was so unbelievably funny. So after we shot the movie? No. Oh, okay, two years ago. You have to think. Shit. <laughs> Can we please cut? I just need to put oh, myself back this together. Is a disaster. Um, no, no, don't, 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 don't really. <laughs> uh, but I just thought it was like such an incredibly funny movie, and also a movie that is, uh, has a sort of underlying and understated kindness where it's the, the sort of point of view of the movie is like, aren't people so such tragic, hilarious messes, yeah. you know? And I think that watching Jeff's other movies, there's a kind of sweet, a quiet sweetness underneath all of the antics. So that was another thing and that it, attracted sorry. me to. And it felt like- <laughs> That's like just a, a candle holder. And like an Altman movie, Little Alice, yeah. I felt like yeah. it had that kind of cinematography and improvisation. And so, yeah, it just seemed like the best way to spend the summer. I have always wanted to play someone with sleep paralysis, so <laughs> this was a dream come true. I also, what I love so much about this movie is that it's so much about expectation versus reality, and I'm also a really terrible chef, so I think I expected to learn something about cooking, and I really didn't, <laughs> but there was a lot of, um, there's a lot of twists and turns, and I think the sleeping element is one of the fun reveals that. Yeah, this, it didn't really, the, the movie doesn't end up being being a, bu a bunch of cooking. It's not, that doesn't, that sort of is the stuff that happens off camera. What's your smell of What's the thing that you cook best in the world? Um, I do, always do Thanksgiving dinner, st nice. top to top to bottom. Thanksgiving's a big yeah. theme here with this cast. Gratitude, baby. Um, I think it's really exciting having been through two plus years of not being able to have a festival and be in person. Um, I truthfully haven't even been in a movie theater since COVID, so this is gonna be the first time I'm in a movie theater. So I think that symbolically is pretty amazing. And um, I think when you make a movie, you don't make it for people to you know watch on their phones. You make it for people to watch in a theater with a sense of community. So I think having that element really is amplifying the experience. And I'm really excited that we got to be part of that and the, you know, the sort of new movement towards being back in theaters and seeing movies together. I think it's important.